Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Last night, someone asked me, what is the number one problem, the number one mistake that beginners and low intermediate players make? And I started thinking about it, and the number one thing was they don't get personal instruction. Be it Zoom or in-person lessons or whatever, it's very difficult to get good at this game without somebody looking at what you're doing and correcting you. And I'm not talking about the, the APA 5 that runs all over you and gives you a couple of tips. That's not instruction, guys. I, I have cousins who are APA 5s that would tell you a whole bunch of wrong shit if you asked them to help you with your game. You need somebody who is legitimately uh, qualified to give you instruction. So not just the guy at the pool hall, your friend or whoever, who is better than you because a lot of times uh, they're doing things wrong or they don't even know what to look at or they're what we call unconscious competence and they don't know how to instruct you to do what they do because they're not conscious of it. In the top five that beginner players face is they want to play. They want to play pool. We all do, okay? But guess what? For every hour of pool I've played, I probably put in about, I don't know, 100, and 150, 200 hours of actual practice. So understand that as I always say, and anybody who watches this channel on a regular basis knows already, practice is practice, playing is playing, and playing is not practice. When I talk about 10,000 hours, you guys hear me talking about 10,000 hours of becoming an elite player. I'm not talking about 10,000 hours of play. I, got a, I know a lot of guys got 50,000 hours of play and they're no better than you know an APA four or five after all of that time at a pool table because it's not practice time. They've just been playing. So you don't really, I hate to break the news to you guys. I know you think you do, but you don't get much better while you're playing. Next tip, your frustrating yourself because you see the videos and you're like, well, Brian drew it back from there or made it in from there or Jim ran the rack in two minutes and then you're trying to do these things that people who have thousands of hours more than you are doing and you're wasting reps, you're wasting time at the table. What you need to do is give yourself this shot until it is automatic. And when that becomes automatic, give yourself that shot until it's automatic and give yourself that shot until it's automatic because you need successes. You have so many misses in your life that you're eventually either gonna give up the game or not get any better because you're frustrated. Give yourself a bunch of successes shoot the easy shots and then worry about running racks, then worry about stringing runs together, then worry about shooting balls in rotation. If you don't have a bunch of successes shooting balls in the pocket, you're never gonna fall in love with this game truly and never are you going to get any better. Practicing the right thing. What is it that you wanna do? If you want to be a really good pool player, stop wasting your time on trick shots. With the exception of about four people on the planet that are world-class pool players and trick shot artists, there aren't a lot that are really good at both. Because if you can spell your name out with mass say shots, <laughs> You've put in a lot of hours shooting those Massé shots and not a lot of hours playing position and getting on the right side of the ball in nine ball. So ask yourself, why am I here? And then answer that question to determine what you should be doing and working on because trick shots are not it. The reason some of us shoot these trick shots well is because we're doing something else well that relates to the trick shot. Okay, that's how we got there. Next item, you have to be mentally strong 
to be good at this game. The big mistake that a lot, a lot of beginners make is they don't recognize that you have to be a strong person within yourself to be good at this and a lot of other games. They are frustrating, all right? If you don't do well, if you aren't progressing at the point that you think you should, it can be very frustrating. And for somebody who has a very weak will, you're not going to get there. You're just simply not going to get there. You need to work on being a stronger individual from a mental standpoint. I have probably told this story before in videos because I think it's hilarious. But I had a guy that hit me in the comments and he said, uh, actually he wasn't even addressing me, he was addressing everyone else other than me. Brian is mean and Brian talks down to the, the, the low level players and Brian doesn't understand that we're here to learn or whatever. First off, nobody's nicer to the low level players than I am because I don't talk down to you because I don't hold your hand and act like everything is okay when it's not because I am real about what you need to do and what you are doing and how you can get there, okay? People that love this channel, they love it because I'm legit. I'm not some guy that's telling you a bunch of bullshit so that you like me and hit the sub button, all right? I want you to hit the sub button because I'm gonna teach you how to play pool in the real world. But if you're that guy and that's how you feel and you're intimidated by the guy on YouTube who is this big on your phone and you're, Brian is upsetting me. You're not for pool. Pool's not your game. Badminton is your game, okay? <laughs> so you have to have a strong will. You need to be a strong individual. You have to be open to criticism. You have to be open to learning. You have to recognize that you don't know everything that you think you know. And you have to recognize that it's going to be difficult and frustrating at times. And the people that are gonna help you best are not people that are gonna hold your hand and tell you that everything is okay. You have to have a strong will. So those are the things that I think are things that beginner players should know and should be doing and should be working on in order to get off to the right start. Or even if you started years ago, get on the right track with those things. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. If you don't like it because Brian is mean to you, hit the unlike button, hit it twice. <laughs> we want to teach people that really want to be pool players, okay? If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and check out this video here.